Hello and welcome to Critical Strike, episode 101. I'm Josh, and here with me is Carl. Dalmatians, Josh. Dalmatians everywhere. And Jared. 101. know what that vo- what voice was that that was a shitty radio voice i know kyle i've been watching football all day it's an infomercial it's a critical strike infomercial oh man what That's... are we selling cables <laughs> cables for what we're selling the now outdated uh i product cables at a discount oh lawlers 16 bit pen connections yep all right so, uh, gentlemen, mm-hmm. what's up? Not much. Anything, uh, anything interesting happened in the last couple weeks? Uh, not really. Oh, Christ. What? Well, that's disappointing. No. Well, yeah, I mean, it's always Carl that has a story, and when he doesn't, it's <laughs> terrible. Well, I, I mean, there hasn't really been anything, I haven't been doing anything weird or playing the podcast at inappropriate times. So. I was going to get my shoes resold, and I'm pretty sure I met the equivalent of the Born Identity character. What? Oh, well, that's what I'm hoping for, Carl. And you've let us down. I don't, I don't even that. I, <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. I know. I'm Who would sorry. sell their shoes or Me? resell their shoes? Resole. Oh, I thought you said. <laughs> if anyone had shoes that just got resold and not just buy new shoes, it's you. I thought you said resold as an S-O-L-D, uh, not S-O-L-E-D. I don't know. I speak very clearly. I'm not the smartest man. Yeah, I uh, I burned through my dress shoes too quickly, so I just buy them relatively inexpensively. Buy them by the bulk? <laughs> but you have a sitting job. Well, now, for um, three year, for four years, I didn't. That's right. You did do a bit of walking about. That's why all of the, my suits have the crotches torn out because I was moving and lifting boxes and suits. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Well, because it wears tearing out your crotch. Because I'm <laughs> moving and lifting boxes in a suit. I'm dressed nice, so I've got my dress shoes. So I crack the soles. I break the leather. So then I have to buy a new pair of shoes. I'm actually just thinking about you in tight pants now. So you can say whatever you want. I know where my mind's going. Yep. Huh. It's creepy. So, <clears throat> we have pain. no interesting stories. My pain. We uh, did our 100th episode. I would like to say real quick, thank you to everybody who sent a message in for that. Yes. Greatly appreciated. That was, that was pretty awesome. I'd like to say thank you for the uh, big mix at the end, Josh. That seemed like a bit of work, and it was really good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never do that again. <laughs> it's probably best. Probably best. Oh man, a, I should totally do it. That's the third time I've done it now, Kyle. Is that right? I yeah. don't. I don't know. Yeah, we did it for the one year, then we did it for the fiftieth, and then we're now for the hundredth. Which is kind of sad that we didn't get fifty in our one year. <laughs> <laughs> well, we couldn't. Think we, were, we couldn't do fifty in one year. At the, well, remember we started out with a once a week schedule. Mm-hmm. You weren't with us then. So. uh... I have nowhere to go now that we have no stories. It's just all the transitions. Well, I know. Gone. I feel like there's a big void in my life now. Well, I, yeah. I did participate in an... Don't you have anything embarrassing oh, yeah. that you, you can tell us? Did you stomp grapes at a vineyard or something? No, I made wine with Nancy's family. Yeah, well, I was expecting, like, you fell down in the wine and <laughs> Nancy kicked grapes at you. And... No, Nancy was at work, so it was just me, her dad, her brother, and uh, her cousin. And her sister, and we were just in the basement with 220 pounds of grapes. Oh, I know what story we can tell. <clears throat> what? What about the one how, like, Bill has this fascination with women in capes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bill has a cape fetish. There's yeah. no cape fetish. Like, he was talking about he comes home, like, Hold twice on. a week Let's with a new cape. Let's see what Google says about cape fetishes. Yeah, he comes home with a new cape for uh, Frona to wear. 
No, I thought like you were talking superhero. about Uma Thurman where you were saying you hate Tarantino and I said Uma Thurman's pretty hot in this Batman movie and then there's the one where she's like a superhero and she's kind of hot because she's crazy. Right, but you said that you love capes. I never mentioned buy... anything of capes. You're the one expressing your it's love It's kind of like that scene in uh, Field of Dreams, like the, the old doctor who used to buy a new hat for his wife every night. You come home every night with a new cape. What? There's something... What? Fetish rainwear? Rain cape in the spring. What? I didn't know there was rain capes. I might wear a rain cape. <laughs> See what I mean? Guys, I imagine it's basically a cloak that just named it That's actually right? exactly what it is. Yeah, see? I think the world should get back into wearing cloaks. I'm all for cloaks. Uh, well, now that we got one embarrassing story out of the way. Well, I'd, I'd be pro-cloak. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely pro-cloak. I hate, I hate cloaks. It's impossible to hate cloaks, Josh. I just do, Bill. How? I hate everything that you like. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Oh, man, that really does look like a... Yeah. Cloak. Yeah, I definitely should be going about in that. Because I have a poncho, but it's not the same. This is a, fe- this is a fetish thing, isn't it? Because she's slopped it around the mud. What did you <laughs> yeah, find I was about this? To say. <laughs> yeah. this makes me I typed in cape fetish in Google. Here's something wow. else I came up with. Jesus Christ. I, I, don't, I don't think I want to. So, uh, has anybody been playing it? <laughs> it's now getting really... <laughs> I'm really glad awkward. Firefox is installing updates so I don't have to see whatever it is. <laughs> so, uh, Kyle, tell me about Darksiders 2. Um, <laughs> Darksiders 2. It's a less better version of Darksiders 1. Well, Josh, it has a shocking lack of capes. <laughs> it It's... Okay, so Darksiders 1 was... Or rather, the original... Yeah, the other or Darksiders 1, original Darksiders. But it was like a action-adventure sort of... 40k meets Legend of Zelda. So you got like this really bulky guy with all this shit all over him and he looks kind of badass. And this one, you're death and you kind of start out half naked. And with a cloak. No, you don't even have a cloak. You just have a pair oh. of pants and some wraps on your hands. And it's a loot based game, which is kind of shitty. Loot based <clears> isn't <throat> like, wow, you're constantly chasing after new gear? Yes. And Diablo? That, that's weird. Yeah, so instead of having a married... So it's like God of War meets... Wow? Yeah. That's exactly huh. what it is, and it's not fun. Really? Yeah, I don't see how they would work well. And together. then there's a leveling system, too, so instead of just having a stock character and you just get better through the stuff you find in dungeons, you get better by randomly dropped gear. So it's basically Amalar. <laughs> Kingdoms of Amalar. Yes! Yes, yes, it is. Huh? Except Darksiders Two has guns, right? Isn't that a little? It, it weird? has a gun. Oh, a gun. That's different. Yeah. So right off the bat, I'm playing this, and I'm not feeling it because I don't really like the differences between this game and the other game. Yeah. It's not what I expected. Does it still look like a Dreamcast game? Uh, it's a little better. Kinda. Right? I mean, it's not the most, it's not the prettiest game, but it doesn't look terrible. Okay. The mechanics piss me off. (laughs) I don't know why that's funny. (laughs) They do! So, say you're standing in front of a ledge, Josh, or there's a ridge in front of you. The ridge is chest level. For the life of you, you cannot jump onto that ridge. Okay. But you can launch yourself 30 feet up a straight wall, cling there... And then scoot across to the left and right. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty terrible. That's very frustrating. So instead of just simply hopping up onto a ledge, you have to do this insanely acrobatic thing where you're running up walls and jumping, like wall jumping from corner to corner and then running across the wall just to go onto this four foot ledge. Ugh. Sounds like work. It, it is work. And it's a lot of. Oh, yeah, I'll do this if you do these three things for me. And every time you go to do thing A, thing A has you to do three more things. So in order oh, to it's do... It's basically just a new way of doing quests. Yeah, it's, it's all, it is. It's all like busy work. Quest. The game so far, I've been playing it for like know, six or seven hours. And so far, most of that has been busy work. Yes. Rubbish. Like, yeah. What's the, what's the story? Is it even... It's sensible? continuing the first one. So did So war is still in deep shit. With the 
like creator bound the balancing I guess the judges of the universe for accidentally annihilating humanity. So Death, his brother, is trying to do him a solid by resurrecting humanity. And that's kind of, that's where the game is right now. So you have to go kill three chickens, get some eggs. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I like games that do that, like if it's in the right setting, like Amalar or Dragon's Dogma or something like that, if it's in that proper setting. But it just that type of gameplay doesn't really seem to fit with what I remember of Darksiders. Yeah. It, it just doesn't... They they did something new, and I'm not going to fault them for that. Unfortunately, no, they did yeah. the wrong thing. Like, that would be like Cole suddenly has to go out and get groceries to keep these people fed and then go from spot to spot turning power on in Infamous. Well, he... Like, it just wouldn't work. Did that. That you went from zone to zone, not street to street, but... He never got groceries either. And all that stuff was optional. Shut up. (laughs) I'm done talking. I'm going to look up capes. Yeah. (laughs) So, uh, I wanted it to be fun and awesome, but it's not what I expected. And I don't. It's not either of those things. It's not either of those things. It's like Mm -hmm. I come home instead of being excited, I'm like, oh, I'm going to play some Darksiders. It's, oh, I got to play some Darksiders now. I gotta it's play at work. least five hours to make this worth the rent. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, I hate that. I imagine when I get around to playing El Shaddai, it's gonna be a very similar story. Yeah. It's gonna be worse. The, the dungeons aren't. The dungeons themselves are pretty busy work. You do a shit ton of wandering back and forth. So you're con- like the 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 dungeon themselves are very small in terms of square footage, but you end up running all over this thing. So they've even incorporated busy work into the actual level design, which is infuriating. Mm. I think it's safe to say I'm never going to play this. I wasn't the biggest fan of the first game, and I think this just sealed the deal on the second. Yeah, I debated it for PC, but uh, not now. And every once in a while... So you well, you pretty much start out half naked and you gradually get more clothing as the game progresses. But every once in a while he get he becomes fully clothed and his two part scythe becomes one scythe and he looks pretty cool and you'd much rather play as him, but he only shows up for like two seconds and then disappears. <laughs> like he pops up at the end of a combo or when he's finishing off a boss. That's it. Is the loot at least kind of neat to where it's kind of fun to search for things to make yourself look better, or is it just completely trivial stat-based shit? You have this scythe. It now gives you one more strength than your previous scythe. Jesus. Oh, this one gives you a 2% chance on arcane strikes. Uh, They really want the wow approach, huh? That's kind of, that's kind of, yeah, that's not what I want. I want. Just give me a sword and then give me a better sword throughout the, like, at, like, the middle point of the game so I have something to work for, not you're just throwing loot at my face. <clears throat> Could you change gear in Darksiders 1? No. You okay. can, sh- it's like Le- Legend of Zelda, you can equip different items. Right. But right. that was about it. All right, well. You would, yeah, aqu- you, I think you acquired a stronger sword towards the end of the game. That game's officially out of my interest. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're you better off much, for it. But you, yeah, you definitely killed what I had left. Oh, well. Poor THQ. Yeah. <laughs> so, while I was waiting for that, I decided to play like a bunch of bullshit games on my DS. My original... Well, my DS Lite. Hmm. So, I played uh, The World Ends With You. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I had bought RPG. that. Yeah. I've never really got around to playing it, but I've always wanted to. Yes. It's uh, funny, because the main character is completely calling bullshit on everything and it's very funny yeah I've heard, I've heard it's really good and just the story is really well too the combat system's fucking insane because you have to pay attention on stuff on the bottom screen and the top screen and you have to do really? stuff on both at the same time does it have a like turn based or is no it, it's it's all <clears throat> active it's all it's not even tactics it's all it's like an action rpg type well, it's, You're yeah. better just watching a YouTube video rather than having him try and explain it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Okay. So you have a partner that you fight with, and you control that partner on the top of the screen using the D-pad doing, like, button combinations. And then you use the stylus 
and different types of poking and swishing and prodding on the <laughs> touch screen to attack enemies on the bottom screen. So you're doing a two prong <clears throat> attack on two different screens at the same time. And during which you have to keep bouncing like this green orb back and forth, which increases your combos, which increases your overall damage. It's kind of intense. Yeah. Huh? I didn't nice. make it all that far. I think I got like an hour and a half and lost interest once the novelty wore off. Meh. We'll see how far you stick with it. Uh, it's just going to be a bullshit game that I like pick up every once in a while. I started like Hotel Dusk up again just because I really like that game. Should uh, play 999 again? Uh, I already beat it all three times, so I got all the endings. Hmm. Which is another really fucking awesome game. Anything else, sir? Uh, no, that's about it. All right, finally, we're out of the boring section of the show. Aww. So, uh, Jared, what do you got? section of the show. <laughs> you just found said that to be that very nice... informative. He just saved us money because we didn't have to end up getting Darksiders 2. Money and time, both of yeah. which are precious. Yeah. One more so. very bored. We'll say the frugal section of the show. <laughs> the frugal <laughs> section. Well, it, it works well with what I used to call Kyle. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, without, Wait, what do you mean you used to? You still call me that. I haven't called you that in a long time, though. You're a Jew. There you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> That's getting cut out. <laughs> Jared, give me something. Something interesting. Spark this up. I'm bored. Well, you're going to stay bored because... Jesus, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say too much about The Walking Dead Episode 2 because it's Spoilers. spoilery as well as you don't like it anyway. <laughs> no, you say what you want. I don't care. I, uh... Well, I tried tried Walking Dead. <laughs> I tried it. Remember how I said before episode 100 I was going to at least put an, an attempt into it? Yeah. I made it 0. 0.3 minutes. So that means you didn't even make it out of the cop car, you fuck. There was a cop car? <laughs> Jesus. I installed it, loaded it, saw a character, said this looks ridiculous, turned it off, oh my and then God. uninstalled it. You failed life. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't even get out of the cop car. The cop car is just kind of teaching you how the conversation works, and then you have another little tutorial with everything else, and then the game starts. I was bored. Josh, that's pretty bad. If this bad. was a hockey game, coming you didn't me. even make it to the, uh, the drop of the puck. They're like, ah, oh, those guys' suits look stupid. Shh, turns channel. I hated the art style, I don't know why. You hate the comic art style, the cell shaded art style? It just didn't flare with me at the time, Bill. Didn't flare with you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I expect things to sparkle! <laughs> I do. I want my zombies to twinkle. I want some pizzazz. I might like this game if it was written <laughs> by the some... Twilight Woman. I want some pizzazz. I hate you both. Zazz. That would be pretty great. Needs more if that's how you rated games from now on, lacking in pizzazz. <laughs> lacking Adequate amounts pizzazz. of pizzazz. <laughs> Oh, On a pizzazz man. rating, I give this a three out of four sparkle. <laughs> I gave it, I give it seven zips. Kind of <laughs> zippy, but not too zappy. Zippity bop. <laughs> Zippity zip bop ba the jaw section. Can I just imagine that you wear zoot suits around? I'm gonna do that. Okay, that's fine. Working on lasers with those sparkles. long chains. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, so at least I tried it. You didn't try anything! <laughs> if you didn't even get to the cop car, that means you didn't even start it. I tried it. You no. saw the intro video. That's all you did. It was bad. <laughs> <sighs> you didn't even get to where there's zombies, for fuck's sake, Josh. <laughs> you didn't even see the you point of the game! You played a zombie game without even getting to the zombies. It's it's a done deal. It's uninstalled. Yeah, for Christ's sake. 
Well, I happen to enjoy it thoroughly, and I found <laughs> the second episode to be very fun, enough to where Frona happened to come in as I was playing it, and then she sat down and watched me play the last two hours. Was she wearing a cape? No, we had, we got past the point where the cape comes off, Josh. Okay. But she was wearing no the eye mask, though. Yeah. Definitely the horse mask. I'm into that, too. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I mean, it's it's enough of a story to where she can sit and watch it and not feel like she's watching me play video games. Like, she just Ugh. is involved and I wonder what's up with that guy or things like that. It's it's pretty it's pretty sweet. Oh, why'd like you kill that Like, it's going to be girl? high in my game of the year list. I'll tell you that. Ugh. It's really good. Really good. I was so bored. I would say on a pizzazz level of <laughs> one to seven, it gets... Six and a half pizzizzes. <laughs> it gets six and a half sparkles. No, sparkles are a lower denomination of the pizzazz scale. Twinkles? Definitely six twinkles. All right. Now, I can't, I honestly can't say much because it is spoilery. So, Kyle, so, are you ever going to try this game? Oh, well, eventually when I get a better computer and it's Well, it cheap. is free on PlayStation Plus. It is? Yeah. Oh, shit. Then I probably already have it downloaded. I don't even know it. Yeah, like the first episode, right? No, I think the first two. Oh, right then now. yeah, you, you should totally play it, Kyle. Yeah, I, I have no excuse. Yeah, you'll get on board. Then we can laugh at Josh and his lack of pizzizzes. <laughs> <laughs> I was bored. I can't help so it. So what is it, like a point and click? It's it's a fucking Telltale well, game. Well, no, but see, and when I heard that, that's why I didn't have any interest in it. But they've really upped the ante. On the whole type of game that it is. And it looks very pretty. Don't let Josh bullshit. And you have some controls. And it's not all just clicking around the screen aimlessly. There's hardly any of that. And it's more story driven. Where like your choices drive the story. And there's points where you have to choose. Because a lot of things have timers. And it's hectic. And you don't have time to think about what you want to do. You just have to react. And that causes bad things for certain characters and good things for others. And that affects the way the game plays and how other characters see things and how the story unfolds. It's really, really fun. So basically yeah. everybody who was good was working on this game and not Jurassic Park. Uh, I've never played the Jurassic Park, but all of those who have, yes, that's correct. Okay. There's... I took so much shit from my coworker for not playing this as well. It's... Fucking loves it. Well, I mean, like, there's points where, like, there was a spot the other night, because we were playing in the dark, because it makes it more fun, because it's kind of a horror game. <clears throat> and things went down very quickly, and lots of things were happening, and I was making decisions, and, like, you know, I'm pulling control. I'm like, oh, and Frodo's like, why did you do that? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> You're a terrible person. Yeah, she's like, why didn't you moment. stop her? It just happens, because there's no time to think. You just react, and that's what makes it more fun. It, it it really is a good time. I look forward to finishing it. Well, you've convinced mm. me to certainly yeah, I mean, actually turn free, on my at least, PlayStation. Yeah, at least try it. it. Definitely at least try it. Unlike Josh, yeah. who looked at the credits and like, I don't like the title. Delete. I played I don't it. Like it shows up in my You font. didn't play it if you I didn't even it. know about does, the cop car. Does it not show up in my games played list? That means you started it. You didn't play exactly. it. Exactly. I played it. All right, fine. I, 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 I played... NHL. No, you didn't. It's <laughs> not in your game's I started list. downloading it, and I didn't like the speed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but all in all, I at some point we'll have a proper discussion on it, because Kyle's going to play it, like it, and continue through, and we'll have a good talk, and Josh can just... Can, I won't be on that episode. Yeah, that'll be the lacking of Josh episode. Then we'll talk about books in The Walking Dead. Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> Worst episode oh, ever. Oh, shit. Things just got pizzazzed. Oh, man. <laughs> the, totally name of the oh, wind. Well, that's that's oh, another yeah. thing, too. Definitely. So, you guys always want to talk about books? Always. And, We've uh, joked about it a few times. Yeah, that, that's the joke to piss you off. <laughs> <laughs> always want to talk board about books. Games. That's it. And so, it's, an, it's pretty well known fact that I don't sit down and read very often. I don't have a lot of time to. Because uh, you're too busy not playing again games. Again with the no time. What are, Do you have children we don't know about? <laughs> do you like raise hunting dogs and train them for profit? So I don't have a lot of time to read. Uh, do you masturbate and... a lot? Is this masturbation related? Like No. Okay. Because if, if it is, you need to cool the masturbation. 
I mean, you're going to tear it off. I'm too busy bedazzling my jeans. Try and keep it to like a few times a week. It makes it more fun. It makes no, it special. So like, <laughs> at, at it gives work, it extra pizzazz. <laughs> at work, I caught shit for not reading. <clears throat> and I, I told my coworker, if there was one book that you can pick that to try to make me read, mm -hmm. what would it be? <clears throat> and uh, he really couldn't come up with anything. Oh, really? That I would want to read. So I, I lay that question out to you gentlemen. If there was one book that I would sit down and read that would try to make me more interested in reading, what would it be? Um, I can't just give you a drop answer, but I can definitely think about it for a little bit. I, name of the Wind. Name of the Wind. It is pretty fucking good. You think that I would be interested yeah. in that, Carl? Name of the Wind. There is a few points where I'm like, that's something Josh would say. What? The the character in it, because he's just... when Like, the, the character as he's older, Kyle, when he's telling the story and the way he reacts to people in the pub, like, that's something Josh would do. Yeah. If Josh was this guy, that's exactly how he would handle the situation. <laughs> How would I handle what situation? I don't want to spoil for you, buddy. Not now. I'm not going to read it. I just want. To know. Oh, I don't have time to read it. Well, he just like makes a very definitive shift, which just makes him. That was stupid. You should feel bad for saying that. <laughs> yeah. I would never do something like that. <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, anything else, Bill? Other than the uh, the game that I put a lot of time into, The Walking Dead. Um, I. I gave sound shapes another shot. I it's mm -hmm. just no. It's why are everyone saying this is some amazing thing? It's just a simple little lame platformer. Yes. It's cool that music is involved and I get the whole idea behind that and it's neat, but it's boring as dirt. I don't think it, I got it, to the point where the ghosts started chasing you around judging by your sight and movement and I was like this is terrible. I'm done. Delete. I don't think it's as uh, crazily amazing as everybody else thinks. Uh, it, it's a cool, Cons I'm really bored game. I'm going to pick it up and just play this for a little while and then go on to something else. I, so I'll, I play it like once a week at most. What is it, like a rhythm platformer? No. Kind of. Like as you, like, say there's a, like, uh, in Mario, you know, you run from left, a ways down is the flag. Well, consider that same thing but split so you get to the edge of the screen and then it shifts into the next little zone, next little zone. And as you're hopping around, instead of coins, there are, you know, little dots that then add more percussion beats. or tones or beats to the music playing in the background. Pizzazz. Pizzazz, yeah. But it's just, that's that's the whole hook, is that as you play through the level, the song becomes more complete. And that's that's what it has going for it. I mean, there's some some pretty cool levels in it. The Beck stuff is pretty cool. but I wanted to make it that far, but it's not going to happen. You can just go right to it, I believe. It was all locked. I couldn't get. I have to finish the first world. We'll say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so he pulled a U. He 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 pretty much turned on the game and just stared at it for a little. Well, no, bit there's like five off. five zones in the first world. We'll say, and I made it through four, and I just I'm not going Wait, to fight through. You this. can't say that he pulled a me, Carl, because <laughs> Bill's done that long before I ever have. Bill's like the guy that says. I put seven hours into this, and you look up at his time, it was a half hour. <laughs> hey, it could have felt true. like seven hours to him. This game did feel is, like seven hours. You can't say it's a Josh thing. That's a Bill thing. I did it once with Walking Dead, and I admitted how much I, I played and enjoyed it. Uh, your statement lacks possess. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Um, outside of that, I'll save that one because you've been playing it. So NHL is going to be hopefully finished downloading tonight. So next time we come around, we'll have lots of hockey talk. Hell yeah. I love hockey talk. I look forward to you just kicking my throat out in that game. You have no excuse now, Hoverman. I know. I, I cut know. your fucking balls off with this one. I know. Wouldn't it be terrible if I ended up being better at it than you, even though I have no <laughs> basic understanding of hockey? It, it won't happen. Would you kill yourself? It won't happen. Yes. Okay. But I, it won't happen. That would be so great. Why did Josh quit the show? <laughs> oh, he's dead. Bill beat him in hockey and he doesn't even like it. Josh hung You're himself You're going to like hockey by the time I'm done with you. No, I enjoy the sport of hockey. I actually pay to go to hockey games unlike any other sport. Hell yeah. It's very entertaining. I don't fully understand all of the rules sometimes, but... I like it. I will show you a video that will teach you the rules of hockey in about two minutes. Does it have pizzazz? It does. Ooh, that's sexy. 
All right, fuck it. I'm going on. I hate you both. It's got um, labias and flabias and flip flaps, doodads, zingabobs. Like the quickest episode ever. We're just breezing right through everything. <laughs> well, it's because I didn't have a, a distracting story to tell. I know, you let this episode down. Well, I'm sorry my life wasn't interesting enough for the podcast, Josh. Maybe you guys I, should do something interesting for a change. I live vicariously yep. through you, Carl. That's not going <laughs> to work. Me too, yeah. How does that work? My life consists of work, golf, and drinking. That's, there's nothing to talk about there. My, my let me consists- tell you about this chip on 15. <laughs> And, and I don't have time for anything, so... Josh, I, I would love to... Do you raise bunnies, maybe? Do you supply, like, Easter with bunnies? Is that your gig? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out um, what you possibly He's Josh do. the Bunny Man Bicknell. That would be fucking awesome. I'm too busy going around the world uh, replacing lighthouses with dick houses. Yeah, I know. How awesome would that be if I actually did that and didn't tell you guys? <laughs> <laughs> like right now I'm actually like in a foreign country well it would mean like, that you're sitting next to gino vinyl dicks what so yep. I've been playing zen pinball 2 uh it's another pinball game I seem to be playing a lot of pinball games lately which I played 7 hours aka 2 boards <laughs> hey you could have played a long time on each board uh, actually technically true but uh so Recently, you had Pinball Arcade come out, and now Zen Pinball 2, which Bill and I loved Zen Pinball 1. Mm-hmm. And uh, Zen Pinball is basically the same exact game uh, that Pinball FX is on the Xbox. So, gives you a little bit of a clarity into Zen Pinball. But Pinball Arcade is the one that basically touts itself as recreating the classic and actual pinball <clears throat> machines like uh, Star Trek and ride a pinball and all those so zen pinball would be kind of the complete arcadey we just made these tables and we we're going to do some crazy shit that you could actually never do in real life mm-hmm. they both have their places i mean it's it's i know a lot of people are like and and i kind of prefer pinball arcade but a lot of people are like oh this one's stupid this one's better blah blah, blah. well i i like to think of it as <clears throat> zen pinball is kind of the blitz whereas Pinball Arcade is the Madden, or one is the Need for Speed, whereas the other is the Gran Turismo. So you have an actual simulator, and then you have an actual arcade game. And they, there's a place for both. Mm-hmm. They, they are both really good games. The, the new tables on, on Zen Pinball 2 are pretty badass. They have a lot more comic-themed ones. And, and the nice thing about what they did with Pinball FX and Zen Pinball is you can import your tables from the previous game. Oh, that's nice of them. Right, so... Like, if you downloaded um, fucking Marvel Pinball uh, when it was free on PlayStation Plus, uh, you can import those tables into Zen Pinball 2. And you can import the tables from Zen Pinball 1 into that as well. So, I have my Street Fighter table, my Ninja Gaiden one, and all the other ones. So, it's it's nice that they did that, and they added a bunch more, like... Uh, Bill, the table you keep mentioning is the uh, the Avengers. Which is really, really cool. Yeah. I is, that was what sold me on the pinball thing again. It's definitely unique and as you said cannot be done in real in the real world space. So I liked it. Is that the one with like the the different balls that represent a superhero? Yeah, pick your Avenger. Okay. okay, yeah. And Loki's I mean, in the middle and di- different things happen by what ball you pick and there's lots of rails and madness and there's where the ball pops up on the little ship you have to use the the triggers to kind of balance it out. I thought that was a nice touch. Mm-hmm. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I don't know. It's just—it's a really good game. It's presented really well. It has a nice setup of leaderboards, and uh, you can challenge friends uh, to games as well. So it's really well done. I, I like it. I'm glad they finally got back to doing Zen Pinball, rather than the whole 
FX, uh, Pinball FX and then Marvel Pinball. It seems like that whole time they just forgot about uh, the Zen series. Yeah. Because that was, what, like four or five years ago? Four years ago? I think ago? so, yeah. It was a long time. Well, it's it's just fun. Normally, I wouldn't sit down and play something like this, but it's they, they've done enough. And I'm a fan of the arcade side of things to where it does enough to keep things interesting and working towards actually the Loki objective. It feels as bad as it sounds like something more than pinball. Like I'm working at things rather than just trying to keep the ball from falling in the hole. Well, every pinball table has a goal. Yeah, but... Like, there is a story and, and stages and goals that you have to accomplish, even on the real world ones. I know, but, but not like this. No, I, I think Pinball Arcade is definitely not for Bill. Mm-mm. Not at all. First off, it has a GeoCities interface. It looks horrible. Uh, it's got, like, the, the raining blood and everything. But Zen Pinball, it, it is totally a Bill game, because it has all these flashy things that go on. And Possess! Just, yeah, it, oh, my God. <laughs> The only thing that irritates me that I was thankful that you could turn off is every time you get a fucking point, it pops it up. I I liked that, though, because then I know the spots that are better for my score. It distracted me a lot. Yeah, it doesn't I really show it. considering you double the points on everyone on that board. So I think you're okay. It aggravates me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's uh, Zen Pinball 2. It's really good. I would recommend it to uh, everybody but Carl. Oh, why not me? Because um, you would have already had it if you wanted it. <laughs> That's true. He does have you there. Yeah. I actually downloaded that before NHL, Josh. I was excited. You f- fucking son of a bitch. Well, I'm gonna, I could play this while the other one downloads. That was my logic. No, it'll pause your download. It didn't. They kept going. Oh, really? Yeah. Because like, as I was playing, more and more tables were unlocking. It was neat. It was like, the better I'm doing is the more free shit I'm getting when actually it's just all of your money. Did, did you do, <laughs> <laughs> did you do the uh, importing process? Uh, no, because I got confused with that. All you do is hit import and then it scans over your account to see... Uh, well, no, I figured I'd have to be like logged in as you and then... Well, you have a bunch of Zen Pinball tables for the first one. No, I don't. Okay, so yeah, you can log in as me and, and do it. Yeah, I'll have to play with that later. It might fall off. Anyways, uh, NHL 13. Is it good? I, uh, it is a fucking amazing, Carl. Like, they fixed every complaint that I had about uh, NHL 12. Really? Yeah, the the skating. Uh, you played NHL 12, so you remember how it just felt way too loose, and you can, like, if you actually watch hockey or people skate, like, they don't, it's all momentum-based. They don't can't just make these quick sudden turns and everything else. That in the game, you could. Uh, in this one here, it's actually physics based now. It has momentum. So when you skate, you can't just make these crazy turns and do whatever, uh, you could in the previous games. And so now speed plays a big, uh, part of it. So say I get the puck, I'm coming down to the neutral, neutral zone. If I happen to get past the two defensemen, they're not going to catch up to me like they would in the other ones because first off, they have to turn around and then chase after me. And so, like, defense and speed and, and skating is a big, big part in this game. Okay. Unlike in the previous years. Like, in the previous years, if you remember when we played, I was able just to basically go right up to your goalie, shoot, and score. And there was nothing you could do about it. I never played with you. Yeah, you did. You did once. Oh, 12. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, I've been talking about 12. Uh, you, said, you said previous years. That's, that was 12. I Because this is 13. This I is when the pizzazz level did not reach pizzing. So anyways, <laughs> uh, skating is, is very different this year, which is a nice improvement, and they really changed up the goalies, the way that they play. Last year they made it so goalies were actually uh, not dynamic, meaning like you can actually hit them and interfere with them, and that really changes up the game. So like I can stand in front of one and kind of blind them while another guy shoots the puck in. Uh, and I can kind of knock them out of position, whereas in NHL 11 and stuff, uh, you couldn't touch them at all. And uh, so this year, they made them actually goaltenders. Like, they play just like a real goalie would. They will jump from across the net. They will swipe with their arms. It, they're basically like playing against Spider-Man. It's tough. It is very hard to score in this game. Yeah, that's I do. I have noticed that on the Twitters, is that people were saying it's very difficult to score. 
Right. Well, now you actually have to play the game like you would actually play hockey. Like a lot of people play it like they would NHL 93, where you skate right up, you do a little deke, and then you shoot. And in NHL 93, that would go in every fucking time. And this, if you go straight up, the defenseman first off are going to knock you on your ass. Uh, but then you'll never score on the goalie like that unless you have a breakaway. Like, now you actually have to play it like hockey. So you have to get in the zone, set up, pass in between guys, try to get somebody in front of the goalie to blind them, and then try to shoot. Yeah. It's much more realistic. And that's why I love it. I'm, I Once I finally figured it out, I'm averaging about four goals a game. So I'm starting to get it. Yeah, I'd say so. It's just practice. You need to practice it and get good at it. So yeah, that's... I mean, there's really not much you can say. The game of hockey is, is hockey. I mean, <clears throat> I want to set up a league on it really bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I went with the wrong system. <laughs> Would you go with? Most of the people, uh, we're on the PS3. Okay. I mean, if you get it, you can join the, the league. Um, but they actually have a league and a franchise mode in it this year. Because remember, Carl, we talked about doing one for 12? Yeah. But but we couldn't because the way that they did it, they basically created a round robin. So you would set it to 10 games a season. I would play Carl a couple times. I would play my other guy a couple times and them. And whoever had the most wins was the winner. That's how it was. And this here, it's an actual real season. Like, I can make trades. I can uh, manage salary caps. I can... Uh, you can even program... Like, say I can't make the game. I can program an AI to play like how I want them to <laughs> and then upload it. And then when Carl plays me, it'll play with the way that I wanted it to. Huh? Um, that's weird. It's, it's neat. I haven't tried that yet, but, uh, they have, uh, a phone option now so I can be on my phone at work making trades for the season, which is pretty neat. Like I can manage my team remotely on my phone. That's Ooh. pretty cool. Yeah, especially that, for that somebody pretty... like you that gets real into the game, I, I imagine that's pretty. And pretty someone close. like you who never has any time to do anything. <laughs> While I'm taking a shit, I can make trades with Carl. No time for shitting, Josh. Just hold it. Actually, I do most of the time, but um, <laughs> I only allow yeah. myself to shit on <laughs> odd days. <laughs> I shit once a day, and it's at eleven o'clock at night every day. Um. Yeah, I don't know. There's really, I, I really want to try the franchise mode so fucking badly. I just don't really. I, I know Pete has it, and he's trying to get uh, Mr. Daniel Brown to get it, and Bill has it via me. I would love to get Carl to have it and uh, maybe set up a small season, but yeah. Is there any way that I can play in your team and just be the guy that sort of fucks up plays and you yell at, and I don't have to have any real responsibility? There is. Okay. There is. Um, in fact, with that franchise mode that I was talking about, you can have up to 750 people playing at once. I don't understand what you just said. That doesn't make sense. So it, it's weird the way they did it. Like NHL was kind of the NHL and FIFA are the ones that they kind of started having co-op online with. Mm -hmm. So if I set up a franchise, I can be like, okay, I'm the owner of the Boston Bruins. Carl, you're the manager of the Boston Bruins. Bill, you're the coach. Uh, and then we can have multiple people playing for us. So I handle the numbers and the managing of players and signing of players and trading, blah, blah, blah. Carl, you handle how they're going to play, blah, blah, blah. And then we can have like 12 people or uh, a bunch of people playing on the team <clears throat> as well. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's really... It seems pretty in-depth if you want to get into it. Right. But I mean, obviously, if we did a league, it would be like, I'm this team, Bill, you're this team, Carl, you're this team, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, and it does have a, a feature that I really loved, like an NBA 2K12 when we did our, our franchise on that. Um, I can You can set it so games up to two weeks will show up. So, I, like, say I start uh, my league, you guys join up. I can play games further ahead and then wait for everybody else to catch up. I, like, I'm not limited like they are with Madden where you constantly see, like, on the fanboy thread, oh, wait, turn it around. Uh, Rotate the league or whatever it is. Move it to the next week because they're waiting to be able to play their games again. So now you don't have that here. You can just keep playing hmm. unless it's obviously with another person. But yeah, it's really in-depth and awesome and I really want to fucking do it. So I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to be sending Carl the game. <laughs> no, I'll pick it up. No, I'm going to be sending you the game. Uh, No, you're going to pick it up. <laughs> no, I'm going to send it to you bedazzled. Oh, man. Diamonds and 
pictures of Quado Bell on the cover. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that that's NHL. It, it's really a lot better this year. It's very in depth, and of course, I typically do. Uh, I like to set it up so I'm actually hearing what you would hear if you watch a hockey game. So I have them playing the real Bruins music uh, at the intro. Uh, when they score a goal, it plays the actual Bruins uh, horn and uh, goal song. Uh, if I go on a power play, it plays that song. So I like to set it up so I'm actually feeling like I'm watching a Bruins game. And it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that, that's all I got. I'm glad you like it. You guys seem totally not interested. No, I'm just I'm, listening I'm all for to it. you. Just you have to show me how to do that or tell me. Oh, I don't think I wouldn't expect you guys to do that, but it's a lot easier on the PS3 than it is on the 360. Because <clears throat> I did it on the 360 last year, and you have to burn CDs with the MP3s, copy it over. Whereas this, I'm just using a USB thumb drive. Hmm. For whatever reason, it's just the way the 360 is. Yeah, we need new consoles. Well, I mean, you can also stream it with, like, a, a Windows Media Player if you want. <clears throat> but that's kind of a pain in the ass to set up as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Carl, why don't you tell them how they can contact with us if they so choose? Okay. You can contact us via Twitter. You can contact Josh at Nasro, myself at Kara Dumond, Bill at Billy Bill Black, or the podcast at Critical Strike. What about Jared? Jared, you can also JR contact Dumond via... Dumond at Twitter.com. Yeah. <laughs> at JR Black. <laughs> you can leave us a voicemail at 909-C-STRIKE or 909-278-7453, or you can shoot us an email at cstrikepodcast at gmail.com. Oh, somebody's getting their phone interference in there. Not me. My phone's not even near me. I'm hearing it. Josh? It's not me. My phone's turned off. Not me. Mine's in airplane somebody's mode. Getting... All right, so... Uh... Oh, or hit up Platform Nation where there's plenty of other great podcasts like the newest member, Double KO. Yeah, double KO. Bitches. Hooray. Pizzazz. And I look forward to an upcoming one from them because uh, a certain member of the show bought a Suez Wrath. Oh, man. I hope Wait, he, he bought it? it? I think so. Oh. They don't rent games in his country. No, they don't rent games. They hire games. Remember, that's the term for renting well, over Well, he there. should have hired that game because it, there's not enough substance to it to buy it. Well, I think he got it cheap, right? I think that was part of the, the, the mentions that it was on sale for something cheap, so he went for it. What was this that he mentioned? Was it on sale for, like, what, $10 redos? Well, $10 redos, that would be a lot more than that. For us, it would What's be 20 and for him, that'd be, like, $60 redos. Ah, uh, okay. What's a dollar redo? Well, that's it's the currency like down money, there. money, but it hops. You know, because it's New Zealand, it's, they pretty much just say anything ridiculous, and that's what their currency is. That's racist. Is. It's not racist. That is racist. Oh, I'm glad that he got that. I didn't see that he bought it. I don't pay attention to Twitter anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have time for he it. He said it was our fault. We talked him into thinking about it, and then it happened. How was it our fault? We only talked about it twice. Yeah, we but we talked it about it was. very happily twice. For like an uh, hour yeah. total. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's because it's right, so much fun, though. I, I, I'd, I'd have a hard time believing someone didn't have a good time with it, as long as you know going in that it's not really a game. And it's more yeah, just I buttons. actually did not have a good time with it. You what? are a goddamn liar. I hated it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, James. I wish uh, now I knew what my words would do, and uh, I apologize for you pers purchasing that game. Words hurt, Josh. We will see you guys in two weeks. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. That was the worst episode ever. No. Yeah, your what? shocking lack of pizzazz, Josh. <laughs> <laughs>